I will show you the easiest way to patch your Xiaomi M365 scooter. Here are the specifications of the scooter I patched. The serial number of the scooter is highlighted. The production date is December 2019. This model has two fuses. To check characteristics of your scooter, you can download an application called M365 Tools from Google Play Store. This application is quite useful. It works on all Xiaomi electric scooter models. You can check the current speed with this application. It will give you the total mileage the scooter passed from the date of purchase. In my case, it is already more than 1500 kilometers. You can set here the cruise control, which is a useful option. The battery details are also there. You can change the name of your scooter to whatever you want in this application. And in case you are buying a second-hand scooter, this is a good application to test the scooter condition. At least you can have a better understanding of how hard it was used. I patched the scooter with two different applications, Downji by Kami Alpha and Xiao Flasher. The binaries I was using did not change the speed limit, so this application did not work for me. What has worked for me is Xiao Flasher. It has everything inside and the process is very easy. If you are going to patch your scooter this way, please take all the risks with you. I'm not responsible if some issue will come up on your scooter. I'm sharing the process I did on my M365 model and which is working well for me. In the Play Market, search for Xiao Flasher and install it on your phone. Turn on Bluetooth on your phone and open the application. Find the scooter to connect to. My scooter name is Andy. Press the CFW full speed button. Automatically, the selected file will be updated. Press the flash selected zip file button. It will ask for an optional contribution. You can select I don't want to contribute. The process will start. It will take around a minute to finish. Don't turn off anything during the process. It is very crucial to stay connected throughout all the process during upgrade. Once it is finished, you can restart the scooter. After the patch, the scooter should have three speed limit modes. Up to 15 km per hour, up to 23 km per hour, and up to 27 km per hour. And this is a test on the same scooter. On the left side the original software without any modifications and on the right side after applying the patch with Xiao Flash application. The overall difference in speed from the original is 2 km per hour. It's not that much, but clearly it's faster. Also I patched two different scooters with this application and both of the scooters have slight differences from the original software. When the scooter is riding and once I push the throttle, I feel that the scooter slows down for a couple of milliseconds and then it accelerates as usual. Thank you guys for watching, bye!